good morning guys I'm here with the flip through of my Tsunami Rose design team project for January 2020 and she's finished as I said in yesterday's video she's all done but yeah so there we go I cut out some of the ephemera and just layered it up on some um, trim lace that I had and some some of this beautiful sorry uh, not sorry um organza ribbon on there and then yeah here I'll take this off actually and then I can show you these are two separate ribbons I just put them together because they look nice and they match the colours in the journal but yes then down here I used this same pink ribbon to add a little bit down the side because that ties in with the pink in here again some more of that lace this is one of the um, book plates or yeah I think the book plates I'm not sure about like things for the journal cover <laughs> but yeah so like I said the closure is very simple it is just the two ribbons they're not even fastened together just together and then wrapped around and fastened because this is a chunky monkey it's already wanting to alligator mouth and I've done well I've done a bit to it but not as much as what's what other people are going to do to it but yes yeah, so let's get inside oh, wow I don't know why I'm sorry guys I don't know why but I'm a little bit nervous <laughs> no idea why I've done flip throughs before but yeah I think this is because it's my first one for tsunami rolls but anyway let's get on with it but yes so i made the cover from a pillowcase <laughs> of an old chintzy kind of duvet cover that we have obviously it's a king size one and obviously it came with two pillowcases um so i cut them up i wasn't going to use these originally i was going to use a different one and i didn't like it so I thought this matched perfectly and yeah that's annoying me is that though because I used white duct tape to put the book and the, the front and back cover and the spine together I, I didn't I forgot when I moved over to using this this is white so you can see that bit through it there but yes anyway minor details so yes, and then inside, let's open her up, it is a three signature journal, and like I say, inside I just used some um, scrapbooking cardstock for the end covers, and then I used a piece of the same duvet cover, just a different piece of it, different section of it, to strengthen the spine. And then I used, I was going to use the three hole pamphlet stitch because I wanted the signatures to be evenly spaced apart. But I, I don't like sewing in signatures because I'm not very good at it. I can sew the signatures, that's not a problem. But when it comes to lining them up on the spine, I don't know why, but it just never works for me. So I fret over that quite a while thinking... I don't want to do it now because I'll ruin it and if I ruin it then that's it I've got to start all over again so I did a traveler's notebook style binding instead and after a little bit of fiddling around and <laughs> um, a few tantrums <laughs> I will admit I finally got them to lay in I finally managed to get them in in a way where they laid in the exact same places as my binding would have done so I'll just take that out this is the joy of having these travelers notebook style bindings is you can remove the signatures so you can take things out you can add more if you like um, and it's just as easy as it's a little bit fiddly at the moment because I've got things I'm poking out the top but yes, so without the signatures in, this is what the cover is. The cover's like, and like I said, I managed to get each one of these in, in exactly the same places I would have had my stitching had I sewn the signatures in. So yes, and there you can see where I've reinforced the spine with the 
material and yes and of course with doing it so that I want to get them laying in place like that I managed to find a way of doing it so that they are not visible on the spine I actually ended up down on that one that annoyed me did that I got them three perfectly aligned and then that one I punched that one too far <laughs> too far this way <laughs> but it worked it worked a charm so yes it just means that this middle one here is actually doubled um but I've looped it through and tied them both together anyway but yes yeah, so you just get a bit more strength in the middle signature which is awesome and then like I say you just slide them back in and this is great for like I said whoever gets this because they can either oops they can either add to it if they find they've not got enough pages or they'd like more writing pages um, then like I said they can just pop it out and put the pages in wherever they want and then add it back in this way like that or if they feel well that's a little bit too bulky I wouldn't I want don't want that in there then they can just take it out so there you go guys and we'll get to the signatures in a moment But yes, yeah, so like I said, they are now still evenly spaced out. So there's plenty of room for this journal to grow. And whenever it's finished, when it's full, you can just take them out and make your own and you reuse the cover. And so yes, like I said, it is quite the chunky monkey already. And I'm really chuffed with it. Really, really chuffed with it. Some paper not paper material ruffles and then all these bits hanging out the top were cut offs from the journal cover the um, pillowcase so they all match and they're just in there with the paper clip uh, well they're on a tag but I'll, I'll show you that in a second so yes let's open up and get in there so this is from the whole of these pages are from um, Daisy's kit called Bees, Birds, Bees and Peonies like I said Daisy over at Tsunami Rose this is part of the ephemera I have added lace down the main pages and then like I say these are the tags from the ephemera kit um, I've printed them on white cardstock so plenty of journaling space and then I've looped the little tab the cut offs through and turn them into little tabs well tag toppers but also tabs poking out the top and I've just hooked it on with a paper clip so it is removable you can journal on this page too part of the ephemera also part of the ephemera which I've turned into a tuck spot these are little journaling cards well they're actually receipts vintage receipts part of the kits them in there, extra journaling spaces. Oops. A page from the kit, or material ruffle. Another one of those cards. Some more journaling spots. Uh, this page I actually tore it. Well, I didn't tear it, it was actually already torn. So I just stuck some washi tape over it with flowers on. I thought it matched quite well. And then I um, went over it with some, um, what is it, oh, antique linen. I just went over it with some antique linen ink to grunge it up a little bit. But yes, another beautiful kit page. I love these. I love how vibrant the blues are as well. Some more lace. Is this the one where I run out of it? No, that was that one. I have kept each signature the same where laces and trims are concerned. They're in the same orders. But there was one or two um, alterations made because 
in this middle signature this one is different to this one because I ran out of it <laughs> so yes happy days again another tag from the kit beautiful held in with a paper clip and another piece of ephemera just glued on kit page love it and then I made the middle page a double pocket with some lace so and it's actually slightly elasticated is this lace so it will it'll hold a lot so yes and on the backs of the main pages sorry I forgot to mention that on the backs of the main pages I glued my own stash of papers to them just to thicken them up and give them all a different look and feel so there we go love that page some more ephemera another tag <coughs> excuse me beautiful tags and the roses another page from the kit some tea dyed paper another ephemera piece some more ephemera <laughs> some are printed on matte photo paper some are printed on just normal paper another part of the kit page this is also a piece of ephemera from the kit page, from the kit which i turned into a little pocket and one of the envelopes i don't think the envelopes are this small i'm not sure whether i shrunk them down i can't remember they are quite small so i'm i'm thinking i've probably shrunk them down and again just a few more little pieces of ephemera that i never used so stuck in the envelope pop that in there <coughs> excuse me more ephemera glued in another tag again like I said all these tags are on white cardstock so nice and sturdy and extra journaling spaces and of course you can journal under everything too I love this. Beautiful colours. Blue's my favourite colour anyway, so that was a lovely bonus. And butterflies. I absolutely love butterflies and roses too, so this kit is just like... <laughs> I know it's birds, bees and peonies, but there are quite a few roses in this kit as well. Bees. That's another one part of the ephemera I cut it down rounded the corners and just glued it on I was going to make it a pocket but I printed this on normal printer paper so it wasn't strong enough um, so I just glued it on with some decoration another kit page beautiful this made me giggle um, another part of this now this made like I said this made me giggle and it was a oh my gosh moment now this like I said, is my first ever design team project for Daisy. So up until coming a little, coming on board her design team, well, yeah, her design team members thing, <laughs> um, she doesn't know who I am. She does now through because I've managed to catch her on a few of her live videos as well. Um, but yeah, so she knows who I am now, but she doesn't know anything about me really or where I am from or anything like that previous to becoming part of her design team and she gave us these kits to use we didn't choose our own this time um, she sent us these because these are her newest kits this is part of the ephemera for the kit and I looked at it and I was like when I was cutting it out I was like oh my gosh yeah look it says Lancashire now this is Spring Garden Manchester I'm not in Manchester, but I live in Lancashire in the UK. How awesome is that? I don't know why, but it just really tickled me. I'm like, oh my gosh, I live there. <laughs> but yeah, Manchester's not that far from us. It's about, what, maybe a half an hour, 45 minute drive away, traffic depending and depending what part of Manchester you go to. But yes, Manchester is in Lancashire and so am I. 
I live in Lancashire, so wow. It's like this was fate, it was meant to be. <laughs> a nice little sign there saying yay. <laughs> so cool. Another part of the ephemera. Oh, something I forgot to mention as well. Like I said, the kitties, be birds, bees and peonies. And there's three signatures. And these was in part of the ephemera as well. There's a little strip there saying birds. Uh, let me find the second signature. There is... Where are you? Oh, that's the middle. There we go. Second signature there was another one that said bees and then in the third signature there was one that said peonies so I split them up into categories <coughs> so the first signature is birds so pretty much all the ephemera the main ephemera in this signature is birds related they've predominantly got birds on them apart from the kit pages the ephemera side things they've predominantly got birds on yeah they've got some bees and flowers but predominantly birds there you go so i've kind of kept it themed a bird down there another bird and then we get to this one which is bees so in this signature the ephemera in this one is predominantly bee based so there's the bees beautiful kit page apart from them two obviously they're not bee based but that is <clears throat> again that's where I run out of the other lace so I had to adapt beautiful bee from the ephemera kit again another double pocket in the middle page bee on that one there's a bee on all of them, but <laughs> more bee related, more bees. Again, another bee down there, <laughs> and tags. You don't need to see all. You can see the tags. I'm showing you all of them, and then we move on to the third signature. I love the way these spread out like that. And then, like I said, we move on to the third signature, which I have labelled peonies. And so, as you can guess, this signature is mainly flower based. So, that was left over. I love how vibrant they are. I put, uh, printed them out in vivid, <laughs> so they are really in your face. But yes, so, beautiful, beautiful pick kit pages. And again, mainly flower based. Of course, the tags tie in as well because the tags are flower based. And again, like that, another double pocket, a nice big pocket too, so you can get a lot in there. Flowers, nice big peony. I assume I'm not good with flowers, <laughs> um, but that's printed on matte photo paper, so it's quite sturdy, good for journaling on. Another flower based. Beautiful, beautiful. Hmm. Davenport. <clears throat> Again, another flower based piece of ephemera. And then we come to the end of the journal. And I used this beautiful big piece of ephemera in the back of the journal. I just inked around it and glued it in. But yes, and of course I kept the end papers, front and back end papers, flower themed as well. I didn't have any of my birds on or bees, so I found some nice pink um, flower based one because the journal is predominantly blue and pink. And that's it guys, there we are. So yes, like I said, all the tags are topped with cut offs from the... Um, pillowcase that I use to make the journal and they are just looped in they're not glued or tied or anything they're just looped through so if you get this journal and you decide I don't like them take them out and put your own in it's as simple as that I made them I did it that way I didn't want to make them a permanent fixture because like I said not everybody are going to like them 
Maybe you do want to take them out. Maybe you'd like to take them out and loop them on top of the paper clips instead. Move the journey, the um, tags elsewhere. That's fine. Once this journal is in your hands, it is your journal to do with whatever you please. So I tried to keep it decorated, obviously, but fairly neutral so that you have stuff to work with. And like I say, with it being a traveller's notebook themed one, you're free to, oops, bit of fluff, free to take out things you don't like or add to it if you want more. With it being a traveller's notebook theme, these strings, these elastics are strong. They are, there's still a lot of giving them. And because these are evenly spaced, the signatures are evenly spaced, relatively. Um, they're evenly spaced between each other, but there's also a pretty much even space at either side of them as well. And because of that, there is still plenty of room for this journal to fluff out to add to it and stuff and then of course it's just tied together with these anyway so you know you can have these as tight or as loose as you like there is room with this type of closure for this journal to grow i'm not pulling it really super tight and there's still a bit of giving there but stable i'm not right good at tying balls guys oh actually that one turned out okay um but yeah so there you go and i love the way these two put together make a beautiful purple color where's it gone oh got it twisted there we go not that it matters um but yeah if you tie it the other way like kind of upside down then these do like the loops are on top and they hang down the bottom but I'm not very good at doing that oh actually oh she says and I've done it anyway <laughs> just needed tweaking <laughs> awesome okay so yeah can't you tell I've been nervous throughout this but yeah so wow oh wow super long flick through there I'm sorry guys but ugh, yeah and breathe <laughs> but she's finished wow I don't have a name for her, I don't name name journals. Um, maybe I should start. <laughs> but yeah, she is finished, guys, and I am super, super, super pleased with her. Really proud of it. Proud of myself. Um, I've learnt quite a few new techniques with the construction of the cover and... Uh, well, yeah, the cover itself and then how to cover it. The getting these elastics in place. Oh, wow. Yeah, definitely... From the stuff that I learnt from this will be carried forward into different into others, so other projects. So I'm super super duper happy, and yeah, there we go, guys. So I shall now get to taking some photographs and get them over to Daisy for her to do with what she pleases. I think she's adding them to her blog, um, and then this will be sadly. Sadly for me, it will be listed in the Etsy shop for sale. Eek. So yes, <laughs> very nerve wracking for me. I'm not used to selling journals, more, well, through, through, officially, like through Etsy and whatever. Normally I've made a journal and through the process of making it, people have messaged saying, can I have it when you're done? Um, <laughs> but yeah, so there we go, guys. Eek. I don't know how long it will take for me to get this up into the Etsy shop. I may just keep hold of it for a little bit longer, take it all in. <laughs> but yeah, it is definitely going in the shop. Um, and yeah, so now I can chill out a little bit and relax and breathe before getting ready to move on to next month's design team project for Daisy. I've already got the kit, I've already printed it out, it's going to be awesome. Um, but yeah, so... Thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much for your support throughout. Thank you, Daisy, for having me on board your team. Um, and yes, wow. And I'm going to go because I can't think of anything else to say. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so just thank you, thank you, thank you so much, guys. And I will see you again very soon. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. Take care, guys. I'll see you later. Goodbye.